Exercise number one. Find a pass to the rebounder, take your first touch out, roll it back into your other foot, and find a pass with whichever foot. Make sure you're on your toes and active so you're ready for your next first touch. Go at your own pace. It's better to do it slow and right rather than doing fast and wrong. Each exercise try to go up to a minute long without stopping and then we'll get to the next one. For exercise number two, we're gonna be doing the same exercise as the first one, but we're gonna be switching the feet. Taking our first touch out with our left, roll it back in with our left, and finding a pass with whichever foot. It is very important to incorporate both feet into training to help build confidence and to be less predictable. For exercise number three, we're gonna be using our left foot again. We're gonna take our touch out with our left foot, bring it back in with the right foot V, this is a great way to practice your weight of your first touch and mastering this skill can get you out of difficult situations. For exercise number four, we're going to be doing the right foot now. Take your first touch out with your right, bring it back in with a left foot V, and repeat. Big shout out to Mori Sports Rebounders, the best rebounders in the game. I wouldn't be doing this video if it wasn't for you guys. Make sure to check out their website, I'll be posting their link in my description. Exercise number five, we're focusing on the first touch with the outside of the foot. Using different parts of your foot allows you to be more prepared for different scenarios. The more prepared, the more confident. The more confident, the more ready you will be for games. we will be using the inside of the foot find the pass to the board open your hips like you're going to take your touch out take your touch in and turn with the ball this can be an effective skill to throw off a defender behind you 